Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we were given this function right here. We found the inverse of the function. It's simply a set of ordered pairs, and all we did was exchange the y values for the x values and the x values for the y values. But now we are going to graph it, and well, we already did graph it, I suppose. And notice that these four dots right here, those are those four ordered pairs, and these four dots right here are these four ordered pairs. Now we've also drawn the line x equals y, which is a line that's 45 degrees away from the x-axis and 45 degrees away from the y-axis. And notice that if you draw this line, you have these dots and they're mirror images of one another. In other words, if we took these dots and simply flopped them over on this side, we get an exact mirror image. These dots are exactly where they would be if we took this and flipped it over this way. It's a mirror image. The inverse of a function is the mirror image of the function about the y equals x or x equals y line, I suppose. I should write this as y equals x line. That's the more proper way of writing it, the more standard way of writing it, I should say. So anyway, what we're saying here is that the simply the inverse of a function is simply the mirror image of the function about the y equals x line or the 45 degree line as we sometimes call it. It's quite amazing, but that is indeed the case. And so we're going to use some additional information from that concept together with how we find the inverse of the matrix and what it really means. So stay tuned and we'll dig more into the concept of the inverse of a function. And that, did I say matrix? I meant function if I said matrix. But anyway, that's it. That's how we do it.